God. Okay. Come on. Get that. There's one thing that annoys me with that, but there we go. Okay, I'm GeoDav, and in this set of videos, what we're going to do is set up a character to be exported from Blender to UDK via the FBX export. Now, anybody who's seen my comments and posts on the, the UDK forum, I always tell them at this moment in time, use the UDK export for characters or skeletal meshes in that fact. There's very good reasons for this and but there's also reasons why people don't want to and still carry on trying to use the FBX without realizing what they have to do to get there. FBX is usable, it does work as I will prove in these videos but there's a few things that you really need to take in on board and change within Blender to get everything to work properly. Okay, now I'll go through these things. Now let, let me just go up here. Uh, on the net, you will find, if you search for it, Chris Redbraid's tutorial Blender to UDK player model. All right, it's a written tutorial. It tells you what you need to do, how to set things up. This section here is very, very important, okay? Because we have to change the e export FBX Python file. Because if it doesn't, it'll cause an extra bone, which I'll describe in, in a minute when we get actually doing this. Okay, and it shows you how to do all this okay this is pretty much a write-up of what you need to know but what i'm going to do is take take you through the actual process with a video or multiple videos as this is going to be now if you can't find this chris redbeard just go on to the epic forums for udk search for member there is name slow just go and you will find him and then you can click on his links and all, all this fantastic stuff that he's done. Okay, so you've got that information there. All right, and this is what we're going to work off. Now, if you prefer to use the, let's say, the UDK animations, which is pretty much the animations from Unreal Tournament 3, to get all that to work correctly, uh, you will need for Blender the UT3 Simple Rig Blend. Uh, you will find that from Steampunk Pirates Mod. You can see the code here, code Google com. Please. If you Google for UT3 Simple Rig Blend, you will find it. Okay, and this is another tutorial mainly for UT3, does work for UDK, well that won't, won't, won't work but along those lines just in case you want that rig as I mentioned in my other Blender to UDK character tutorials using the FBX, not FBX, the uh, UDK tools exporting as PSK Okay, let's really go back to here what what this is important. Okay, Chris here has used Blender 2.63a. I will be using Blender 2.868, I believe it is. Okay, so this little section here, all right, this is what I need to talk about on this video, which is just for setting things up. Okay, what it is, is that when you export a skeletal mesh via FBX, it will add a extra bone at the point of origin of the armature file 
or armature rig. Now this may be fine, might be what you're after, but for UDK it is an absolute pain in the neck. We don't need it, we don't want it, we would like a little tick box to say no thank you, but unfortunately Blender what the guys haven't done that for us, so we have to work out how to do how to get round it, which Chris has been absolutely fantastic and has shown this to us. So make a note of this. I'll do the I will show you this within a couple of minutes and then we'll be able to move on with the rest of the setup. Okay, alright. Remember this? Fine. Now just pop back to Blender. Now I've already done the mod modified the file okay so I, I don't have to close blender and restart it but for use before you start doing this close blender down then go to wherever you've got no that's where I've got cam studio right now I'm using blender 2.68 windows 64 I, which I just downloaded as a zip file, or was it RAR, I can't remember, unpacked it and in my Blender folder. Now in here, obviously, you've got your normal Blender stuff. And what we need to do is go, keep going down 2.68, uh, Python, no, scripts, yes, add-ons. Now go down your add-ons and we're looking for the FBX. Here we go. Now, what I suggest you do before you go and edit anything is, well, I could say make a copy, but what I normally do is just right click and pack it into a RAR file. Okay, and then once you've done that, we can take it down, put it into context or any text editor. Now you will see I've already edited this file. Okay. Now in this version, all right, 2.68, we're looking at lines 2553. Now if we look at Chris's, it was 2546. Okay, there's been a few changes a bit bit more added in now the bit that really confused me and didn't didn't work for me initially is that I missed out the simple fact that you got to put the sharp sign in front of else and in front of the F, FW okay so if we go back into context okay so you're looking for this these lines here okay Put a sharp in front of else. Make sure there's one in front of the armature obviously the, 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 and in front of the FW. Now I always put my little name in there because if for whatever reason I have to come back and unlock that, I suppose you could say, and need to use it again whether for, for some other system then I can find it easily without having to search for that whole line. Okay, so once you've done that, save it and then restart Blender. Now, once you've got the FBX files set up correctly, restart Blender, make your mesh. Now, what you can do, you can import the uh, UT3 simple rig. You can do, you can go off straight straight and make your own character and rig now what I've done here well let's just hide I made a very very crappy rig oh, I'm I can never get my head round but what I have done I've cheated okay you'll see this all right now what I did I imported the uh, the UT3 rig I deleted all the bones from the armature apart from the root bone. Now the reason why I've done this is to give me the correct orientation of the root bone. So 
and we've got X going back, Y to the side and Z up. It's a bit quirky, but it saves me messing about later. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got a very simple rig. Now, one thing before we before I stop this video and then go on to the next bit is that if we look at the armature, well, let me just get some screen space here. Let's just go centralize that. Now, yes, I've sort of named it along the same as the uh, the epic stuff because uh, I've used B for for bone. I think that's maybe what they do. But one thing you've got to look look at, okay. One thing to remember is that the root bone is the parent bone for everything else. Okay, that is. Let's get, let's get that there like that, so we can see the whole lot. Okay, hip right, hip left is parented to the root bone. Well, it might actually. In fact, that should be parented to that, but never mind. It should. It will still work. Okay. If not, I'll tell tell you later. <laughs> okay. So. That is very, very important when importing into UDK that you only have one single root bone. Now, if you're adding IK bones and all the anything else, they have to be parented to the root bone. So you've only got as a single root bone is the root one. OK, I know I'm sort of overemphasizing the fact but it is so important because otherwise you're only going to get half the rig and everything else will be messed up. Okay, so we'll leave that there and we'll come back, do a quick bit, a bit of weight painting because that is a little bit important as well. Okay then, so see you soon.